Hello, hello. Let me move my camera out of the way. This way. I guess it's okay. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and share while, um, you know, this gets going. But um, I hope you guys are having an amazing Wednesday. Today is quick tip day. So I wanted to come and give you guys a quick tip. And the quick tip uh, for today is don't be afraid to fail. So I'm going to go ahead and share this on my page. Just give me a moment here. And I have my computer over here. So just give me a quick second. I don't know why it's like a shadow. I feel like there's a shadow, but just give me a second. So, but yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good day. I see that it is snowing in um, quite a few places. Um, our snow is actually starting to melt right now. So, pretty excited about that because um, I hate, like, I, I really don't like snow. Snow is not my, my favorite thing. But anyway, so... Today is don't be afraid to fail. And you guys know that I always have some kind of story to go along with, you know, how I come up with these quick tips. And um, I was I was sent a message on, you know, just my viewpoint on what I would tell my younger self, you know, career wise. And those are really popular. Like, what would you tell your younger self and, you know, things like that. But um, career wise, I was just thinking about, you know, and I responded to the message, but I was just thinking about my days in college and, um, I, I brought up the fact that in 2008, president Barack Obama was elected or Senator, uh, Barack Obama was elected to be uh president. And I just remember being in college and it was, you know, dark outside and just everybody pouring out of their dorm rooms, you know, just cheering. I mean, just all kinds of people, just everybody. And, you know, the, the whole campus just, you know, erupted with cheer and it was just a great time, you know, a great time and a great experience and memory that I'm sure um, a lot of people will never forget. But certainly, you know, on our campus, everybody who experienced it, you know, we will never forget. But um, I said all that to say, you know, I had some of the most amazing times in college. And I just, you know, I just really liked the people, you know, that I met and, and things like that. But shortly after that, maybe two or three semesters after that, I had to leave. I had to leave college because I could not afford to, to stay. Um, my grandmother had done all that she can to, you know, keep me there. But, you know, I just, at that time, I didn't know, um, I wasn't as educated as I should have been on, you know, the resources in order to stay. But long story short, I, could, I couldn't stay. So, you know, I had to pack up and leave. And I was completely devastated. I, I you know, I felt like... A failure. I just, you know, I had all kinds of thoughts um, going in my mind, but um, the the point I want to make is, or you know, that I wanted to tell my younger self is, don't be afraid to fail. Always have a plan B because if you think about it, um, now we fail over and over and over and over again you know just in different things whether it be relationship whether it be finances whether it be you know with our children we fail you know but th those are the moments that you learn the most when when you fail so I would definitely tell myself to, you know, to realize that failing does not mean that, you know, it's the end because it's not. So, um, I, I realized in, in my, you know, moments of failure <laughs> that I, you know, it just helped me to realize and to know something that I've always known was that I'm just a creative person and, 
uh, one road, there's not only one road to get to the result that you want. There's many roles. The point of it all is you have to try and you have to work hard. That's the point. Like, that's it. Like, you have to try and you have to work hard. And, you know, working hard includes being consistent and, you know, just keep going at, you know, keep going at um, what you know yourself to be, like who you are. Like, you have to really sit down and figure out what it is that you like to do, what what are your gifts, because as long as you have gifts, you know, just on the inside of you, you will always have a career, you will always have something to do, you will always have something to, you know, put your hands to, um, a way to, you know, sustain in this life, you, you will always have it, it's just what separates you from a successful person, not you, but a successful person from a person that is not successful is the fact that they keep trying, the fact that, you know, um, they never give up, the fact that they work hard and the fact that, you know, they're always, you know, they're always having their wheels turning, trying to figure out what can I do to be better. So, yeah, so I hope this was quick. I really do, but it probably wasn't as quick as my other videos, but that's the quick tip for today. Let me know what you would tell your younger self. You can either write it down, inbox me. And um, I didn't introduce myself um, in the beginning, so I'm going to introduce myself now. But I am Ebony Hinton. I blog over at HerLifeOnPurpose.com. Um, I'm a wellness and lifestyle blogger teaching women uh, and giving women the tools to live life in their own way. That's what I do. If you missed it and you're watching this on the replay, um, you know, let me know as well. But yeah, tell me what you would tell your younger self. And thank you so much for joining me. I will be back with another quick tip next week. I really enjoy these. I hope you guys really enjoy them um, too. So anyway, enjoy your Wednesday. I have to go cook for my family, and I'll see you back next week.